again, here we are to continue with our single page application with Parse and some other tools, right? And uh, like I said before in the last video, I want to use SAS for our style stuff. Um, so the SAS is a language that needs to be compiled into CSS. So you write it in the SAS language, which is similar to CSS, um, but it allows you to do variables and sort of these mix-ins, which are like functions. So, you know, unlike CSS, SAS has these kind of active components to it, so it lets, allows you to kind of do a lot more with your style sheet. The thing with SAS, though, is that SAS needs to be compiled into regular CSS, and we need to do that. We need to like pre-process it before we can use it on our site. So we need a tool for that. Um, this tool right here called Koala is a free tool that lets you lets you compile your stuff, um, compile your SAS, and it does other things too. Uh, I've already downloaded it. You can download it um, here. You can just Google for um, you know. You can just Google Koala SAS or you can go to koala-app.com, okay? And then that will uh, that will go, go find this page, right? And you can just download. So I've already downloaded it, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch Koala here, and here's the tool. And to use Koala, what you'll do is you'll grab your project folder, and so this is my project folder here. Let me go up a couple folders there. Right, so my project is in this um, this folder here called Garage Sale, and you can see it's got these other folders in it. It's got the SAS, the SCSS folder, and the regular CSS folder, right, and the JS folder, and all that. If I just take the whole Garage Sale folder and drag it in here, then uh, Koala sees the other folders and it looks in them and in, in in there and finds these files that it can work with, right. And so we've got this uh, SCSS file here called style CSS. And what we want to do is we want to compile this into our CSS folder. So um, what I'll do is I'll uh, right click it or control click and choose set output path. Okay. And then it'll give me this, you know, this file picker, right? And I'll go into the uh, CSS folder. I'd actually done this once, so this file's in here. But if the file is not there, you can set the name of the file here. Just type in style.css and then choose this folder, the CSS folder, and then save, right? And so what we're going to do here is we're telling Koala that when it compiles the SCSS file, it should save it into the CSS folder right, with the name style.css, okay? So there we go, so now we're all set, right? So we'll save that, um, and let's give it a try. So here's our, our page, and let's talk a little bit about the SAS language. So right now I'm looking at the, the style.scss file, okay? So I'm looking in the scss folder, and I'm editing this file. Let me delete that one, right? This um, Koala makes this extra file for the conversion process. I'm not quite sure what that does, but uh, this is the one that we're editing, style.scss, right? So I'll open that in brackets, and here it is. And what we can do with this is we can just write our style. So what if I said, you know, um, let me go back to my page here, and I'm going to wrap the um, this UL in the nav tag. Okay, so this will be my navigation. I'm just going to have this one nav element. So, you know, I'll just use the tag name to refer to this, right? Okay. <clears throat> and so what I'll do is uh, I'll go to the SCSS file here. And I'll say, okay, nav, um, you're going to be uh, position fixed. Um, width, you know, 100%, uh, I don't know, uh, height, 80 pixels, background color of, you know, some light gray, right? So we'll do a, something like that, right? And so I'll save that. And what happens here is that uh, Koala 
sees that you've edited the, the SCSS file, and so it compiles that file whenever you save it into the, the um, CSS file here. So if we edit the CSS file now, like if I open this up in brackets, you can see that it added all of the um, all of the source, right? So it pretty much just made, you know, just rewrote all of our CSS, right? Well, that doesn't that's not very useful. It's not really helping us, right? So you know, why would we do it this way? Well, here's the thing, right? Let's imagine that all of the links inside of my nav, right? So I have uh, nav. Uh, a right because I have a bunch of a tags in there and I want all of the the a tags in there to also have you know a height of 80 right you know maybe I also want to declare them you know display block and line height 80 pixels right and so there we go right and maybe I'll also do them like you know float left something like that right so let's take a look at our page now so there's my link so i got to get rid of those bullet points right but anyway there's my styles right <laughs> bad as they are we'll fix them in a second right but you'll notice here i used the um the 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 number 80 80 pixels i used it three times and so if i wanted to save if i wanted to save some time you know it, it's really a hassle for me to go and you know, change this number everywhere it appears, and it might end up appearing in other places because that height of 80 for the nav bar at the top of the page is, you know, it's going to be something that affects a lot of stuff. With SCSS, what we can do, and notice I'm in the SCSS folder, not the CSS folder, right? So in this, I'm even just going to close this file. So the CSS file can just be closed, right? We, we're not going to use that one. Okay, we're always just going to compile from the SCSS file, right? So one of the things you can do with, with SAS is you can set, um, you can create variables, right? So you can set a value that you reuse as a variable. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say height colon 80 pixels, right? And now I can take this variable, and variables in SAS always begin with a dollar sign. Okay, so I'm going to take that and put it here, here, and here, and now everywhere that it says, you know, dollar sign header height, when I save, what's going to happen is the CSS file, we'll open this up one more time here, um, gets saved, and you can see that the variable is missing, but the value 80 is replaced everywhere that variable value appears in the SAS file. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see there's a lot of potential use for that, right? SAS can also do math. So, um, you know, if you wanted to set something to, you know, header height minus 20 pixels or plus 10 pixels, then you could do that also, right? Um, I'll do some more examples with SAS in the future. But anyway, that's just getting us started on using this and how it's going to work, right? So, you know, we start up Koala, download it, start it up, drag your project into the whole project folder into this you know, Koala folder here. Set the output path for your file, okay? Or check it. It might do it automatically, um, but you can you can check it there. If you add new files or folders, you can click this refresh button, and it'll check it'll check the folder here and see if there's anything new. And then what we're going to do to use SAS is we are going to um, write our styles in the style.scss file. And then we can use variables and other SAS features. And whenever we save the file, the Koala application is going to process it and convert it into regular CSS and put that CSS in the CSS folder or wherever we determine the output to go. Okay. So anyway, I hope that's interesting and that'll get, a, get our project further along. Um, and thanks for watching.